Ethel, that trailer leaves Lafayette tomorrow, but volunteers have been working all day today to fill it with your donations. News Channel 18's Kristen Mayorano joins us with more on our top story. Kristen. Gina and Jeff, according to Wabash National officials, the 400 square foot trailer they donated is about 70 percent full with your donations. And Salvation Army Major Jim Irvin says the people of southern Indiana still need all the help they can get. The story is one many of us know well by now. Ten days after deadly tornadoes struck southern Indiana, entire towns left in ruins. Families displaced, 13 dead. But for Lafayette Salvation Army Major Jim Irvin, the story runs deeper. After spending a week in Marysville, he's heard dozens of stories of survival and resilience. The stories are simply um, overwhelming. I'm uh, amazed by uh, the uh, sign that was put in front of one home that was completely blown off the uh, foundation where uh, the mother lost uh, both of her legs as she tried to save her children. And here's this sign that they put up, God is still good. Amazing how people respond and still find goodness in the heart of disaster. During his week downstate, Irvin says he saw examples of that goodness day after day. As head of the spiritual and emotional outreach, he says often it was his job to simply allow the victims of this disaster to unpack the weight of their stories. The ability to find answers of just how I get through today, how do I find my next meal, how do I plan for tomorrow. We wind up doing more listening than we do speaking. And it seems the people of Greater Lafayette were listening too, as evidenced by the truckloads of donations that poured in from WLFI's tornado relief drive, beginning to fill this trailer Monday morning. I was very surprised with our first two stops, we pretty much filled up our truck. It just seems like there's, there's just good, wholesome folks here that, that really care about each other and care about those across the state and the communities. Those signs of caring are often strangers helping strangers. And Irvin says though people in Greater Lafayette may not know the people they're sending help to, they understand their stories. The heart goes out and says, you know, that could be me, that could be my child, that could be my neighbor, and I want to do whatever I can to help. Salvation Army and Red Cross officials say after our trailer heads down to southern Indiana tomorrow, there are no other official places to drop off physical donations, but cash donations are still being accepted, and your donations through Salvation Army and Regions Bank have already totaled nearly $25,000. You can send a $10 contribution to the Salvation Army Disaster Relief Fund by texting STORM to 80888, or you can make a $10 donation to the Red Cross by texting RED CROSS to 90999. Kristen Mayorano, News Channel 18.